Good morning, everybody. It's about um, 10 in the morning on Saturday, right before Easter. And um, yeah, my sister came home last night uh, and kind of gave me a dog. Um, she found this dog roaming around the farm. Uh, yeah, my family is a bunch of farmers. And um, as far as I know, as far as I can guess, this dog is a German Shepherd for sure, uh, at least part boxer, about six to eight months old. Uh, last night, uh, when I, when she came, this dog was covered in fleas, filthy. So I gave her a bath, tried to give her something to eat, but she threw up all over my room, and. Um, she is just thin as a rail, guys. I mean, you can see every bone in her body when she moves. And, uh, you know, it's one of those deals where you can't say no. So I'm going to, over the next uh, couple weeks, just kind of nurse her back to health and try to find a home for her. Because I'll tell you, this dog, she's not fully grown. There's no way. Um, when she's fully grown, she's going to be large in charge and powerful and uh, yeah <laughs> anyway she's a cutie pie though and uh, she's super sweet uh, not aggressive at all but that's just because I think she's not feeling too good uh, and pretty starved so she lacks energy which I kind of understand so I'm mean, just kind of letting her rest and you know uh, letting her eat when she's ready to eat and giving her water and yeah so anybody out there in YouTube land if you want if you want a nice powerful dog uh, you know I got one for adoption in a couple of weeks when she's uh, back to health I have to take her to the vet uh, on Monday uh, and make sure make sure she's uh, she's healthy um, until then, I've been keeping her as separated as I can from my other dogs to make sure, you know, she doesn't have anything that she can pass off to them. So, yeah, I hope you're having a good day. Uh, my day is uh, okay, I guess. And, um, yeah, I'll see you later. Okay, so it's Monday. Um, and I've given the dog a name. And she is now called Zira. And the reason why I named her Zira, because I don't know anything about her, don't know where she came from, uh, don't know anything. She was found by the freeway, really. Um, so I thought of the word Zero, because Zero is nothing. So I decided just to feminize it, put an A at the end, call her Zira. So that's what uh, she is now, Zira. She responds to it. Um, this morning, we went outside for a run around and you know, she's pretty active, uh, at least a lot more active than she was when I first saw her. And uh, gets along with the other dogs pretty good. So that's a look up. Um, she's still absolutely just pencil thin. But she has been eating little by little. Uh, one thing you don't do to a starving dog is overfeed them because they'll just get sick. Um, and uh, she, yeah, she got sick again. <laughs> And throw up all over my floor uh, the other night but uh, yeah she just kind of snoring away <laughs> so yeah Zira this is going to be a very big powerful dog um, hopefully I'll find a home for her I've been contacting everybody I know uh, that's in California to see if they you know or uh, looking into adopting a dog because I'm really trying not to take her back to the SPCA I know exactly what's gonna happen um, her breed which is German Shepherd and maybe Boxer or maybe Rottweiler um, she's pretty much gonna get euthanized if I do that and I, I just can't do that to her so she deserves a chance at life you know what I mean so yeah we're just kicking back today I'm gonna keep an eye on the dog keep an eye on my parents and uh, yeah, you know, keep calm, keep calm and carry on, as the saying goes.